Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome, welcome back to Stars Online Land Oracle YouTube channel. I'm the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here, and we're going to take a look at what energy you might need to pay attention to, look out for, kind of the good, the bad, maybe even the ugly of this full moon in Scorpio, this pink moon in Scorpio. Now, there's a lot of energy coming through with this um, this full moon, this pink moon. Beautiful, beautiful, but it, the energy could be a bit chaotic and intense, okay? So be ready for that. Be ready for that. I jotted down a couple of notes so I could keep track of kind of this energy. Now, um, within this, the sun and the moon are both square Pluto in Aquarius, okay? Now, Pluto is, of course, um, Scorpio's planet. And it is the planet that governs both destruction and transformation. So this, this is going to be a heavy, heavy um, kind of energy or could be chaotic, intense, kind of heavy energy. This energy is an energy that could be very emotional, um, have deep, potent kind of energy within emotions or around emotions. Let's see. Let me get that card. That's our overall energy that's coming through. You've got the King of Swords coming through here. Isn't that interesting? All right, that's the overall. Let's get a few more cards out here, just jumping cards around uh, for sure here. Let's see. Whew, man. For some of you, this energy could create a sudden change of mind and heart okay so like all of a sudden there's there's a potential for change <sighs> changing your mind your heart making right new kind of um decisions around the heart space as well super interesting energy could i mean chaotic and intense that's that's just what keeps coming through this could is going to be chaotic and intense some you know Scorpio um, the Scorpio card is the death card okay and I just did a reading actually um, and so I'll link that here the the bottom of the deck on that one was the death card so new beginning for some okay but again sudden changes of you know it, you might just change your mind or your direction, right? You might just burn everything down and have a transformation or have a new beginning or start anew, right? This energy is just, I'm excited to see com what comes through, but I'm also a little bit frightened if I'm, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. And where I'm at, it's been, um, you know, we've had, we had the 420 just a couple days ago. Uh, today, at the time of recording this, it's actually... Um, 5 11 a.m on april 23rd so very early in the morning um on on 4 20 there was it was just utter chaos out in the world now it wasn't even quite the full moon but it was 4 20 um in the evening i don't know 10 30 11 at night just uh young adults or people um just doing wild and crazy things <laughs> running the streets and running I, I mean it was just wild and we've had just wild, wild energy, uh, chaotic energy, intense energy, uh, in my area of the world. And I'm sure probably, um, in many other areas in your area, I'm sure as well, or potentially, uh, I don't watch the news, so I don't hear about a lot of the stuff because, um, you know, I, I just don't need that. Um, whether you do or not, no shade or whatever, but I just don't. But anyway, the, it's a pink moon, so that's beautiful, right? Um, beautiful kind of looking and we think beautiful energy and on the other side of it there is that potential but it is bringing stuff up to the top to kind of um, be released 
looked at, released, if it's not supporting you, if it's not benefiting you, if it's no longer right, um, kind of within where you're at or where you're wanting to go, that kind of an energy, but it's also this energy of calling your power back to you. Okay. So many of you, um, maybe have energy leaks or power leaks or fragmented energy or fragmented power, uh, kind of out there. It's going to be a time to start kind of pulling that, reining that back in, pulling it back into you, um, and really taking, um, claim back over your situation, over your life, over your power, over your energy, right? Okay. Um, so let's get into it here. The overall energy for this, um, pink moon, this full moon in Scorpio is the king of swords. And isn't that interesting because Aquarius is sword energy. Okay. So that king of swords coming in here. So that overall energy is an energy of really having, um, kind of being very direct or having that truth light being shown. Okay. Things coming out of the shadows and really, really having that energy of being disciplined and assertive, knowing, um, that there is an energy of, um, for some of you, an energy of really having that focused, almost, uh, perfectionism with this full moon. Okay. There's, there's an ambitious energy, but there's also an energy of really, uh, almost being impatient. Okay. So, um, for some of you, this is, this may be where that changing of mind comes through, right? Because Aquarius, uh, or excuse me, King of Swords, which can be a, a Aquarian energy and it's air energy, right? So it really is about the mind. So you, this may be where that, um, changes in, in the mind energy comes through. Okay. With this overall energy, impatience, being very focused, being very ambitious, right? Um, and having this potential energy of being assertive and or disciplined and making new decisions with truth, um, with an energy of really having a direct kind of almost blunt energy coming through. That's overall energy. So, um, do, how do I put this? Uh, I mean, you can be that king of swords energy, but it could be coming through in another way. So, um, do be alert and aware of chaotic or intense blunt energy showing up, blunt conversations, blunt truths, um, whether that's coming from you or from somebody else, it could be a bit overwhelming. It could be a bit much. It could be a bit heavy. Okay. Just be prepared for that. All right. Okay. The good news coming through here is the 10 of pentacles. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's your good news coming in. So, wow. Aquarius, 10 of pentacles. Hello. Thank you. Yes. I was <laughs> here for that. Here for that. So for some of you, there is an energy of a potential windfall. This truth, whatever the blunt may be coming through, if that overall energy or that focus, that discipline, uh, whatever it is, your change of mind or change of, of I mean, change of mind and change of heart, but Aquarius energy or the King of Swords, I keep saying that, so it is coming in as your energy, um, but uh, air energy, that, that King of Swords energy is an energy of being very much in the mind. For some of you, that's going to come through as a beautiful asset. Um, um, it could create an energy of abundance. It could create an energy of prosperity. It could uh, create an energy with that ton of pentacles of a windfall. Okay. There is a potential for setting the foundation or creating the foundation, setting the foundation for the future based off of this pink moon, this full moon. Okay. Whatever you're releasing, um, the blessings that, that are, the light is being shined on, whatever this may be specifically for you, there is a potential that it is going to create an abundant or a prosperous windfall for you. Okay. This is really coming in, um, with that truth, with that bluntness. Okay. So there could be either you or somebody else that's good news here, Aquarius, that is a uh, joyful head over heels and or really respects um, and is inspired by that. Okay. 
has the good news coming through here. All right. Now the potential bad news or what to avoid is the four of cups. Okay. Isn't that interesting? That four of cups energy is coming through with an energy of really, um, feeling disconnected, feeling separated, having this energy of um, just kind of being indifferent or bored. This is what to avoid. Okay. Now this is that potential for that change of heart. Okay. Cause cups are that energy of relationships, of emotions, of feelings, right? Um, water energy. So there's a potential for that change of heart due to boredom. Okay. Now this is bad news or what to avoid. So really pay attention during this Scorpio full moon to kind of those that change. I mean, we talked about this at the very beginning before we even got into the cards. This is a very emotional kind of energy, a very emotional kind of um, time with that Scorpio energy because Scorpio is water, okay? It is, um, it is cups energy. So really being in that space of deep emotion but this is what you want to bad news or what you want to avoid is allowing for whatever this change of it's almost like this energy of don't make um quick decisions or um don't make uh, kind of rash decisions or um, right, because there's that contemplation coming through that comes through, but don't allow yourself to get indifferent or be discontent uh, at this time if you can help it, right? It's almost like um, retrograde, and I'm not sure if we're still in retrograde or not, um, but it's almost like, you know, when you hear readers or people um, maybe say not to make decisions or not to do things or not to start something new or what have you during that retrograde energy. And again, I'm not sure if we're still in retrograde or not. Haven't been following that as much. And I don't always follow the, follow the moon cycles or phases either. Um, but this one has caught my attention with the, um, both the sun and moon squared in Pluto in, um, squared with Pluto in Aquarius. Okay. So, um, yeah, it, it has, that obviously has caught my attention. So, um, d just maybe hold off. Okay. Avoid making, um, decisions or having a change of heart if you can during this time, but it, I don't, it may not be easy. Okay. Again, because that energy is going to be chaotic, intense, or has that potential to be. Okay. Whew, surprise or unexpected energy, the Ace of Wands. So you are going to have some new kind of inspiration. There's going to be some enthusiasm coming through. Um, for some of you, there is going to be some new passion, okay? And that could be where that um, kind of change of heart <laughs> in with the four of cups could be coming through a change of heart change of mind as well um it could be a new passion as far as a, a romantic or within a new um kind of relationship i'm not sure why it's coming through in that but that change of mind change of heart kind of energy with this uh is coming through this surprise or unexpected it's almost as if there's a potential that you might meet somebody um, during this full moon that really catches your eye who may or may not be good for you. Okay. There is a potential for desire for deep, um, desire and, uh, to come through with this. So and there's a spark, a new spark. It could be a creative spark as well, but, uh, it does feel like, yeah, um, with this surprise or unexpected energy with this full moon it is a potential that it's going to take you in a new direction with that change of mind, change of heart. It, it is going to uh, have that potential to feel very, very much like a new beginning, very much like a um, kind of a shift. It could be very emotional and it could be either destructive or transformative. Okay. So gonna have to well, I think we're gonna have to wait and see okay your advice or guidance is the eight of pentacles Ooh, and isn't this a gorgeous card I love this deck um the advice advice or guidance I always try to put those words together which is super interesting 
is the Eight of Pentacles. So there is that energy of really taking the time to pay attention to kind of um, making sure that you're holding the high standards, okay? This chaotic, this intense energy has a power, the power to almost put a magical spell over you. That's so interesting that that is what is coming through, but this ace, this eight, excuse me, of pentacles is really asking you to hold on to the idea and that um, power, that focus of being the master or the expert within yourself, okay? So if you are feeling um, kind of pulled or bored or uh, discontent or disconnected, right? Um, you're being asked with this guidance and advice or advice to really hone in and focus on the expertise of who you are, okay? During this energy, during this pink um, full moon in Scorpio, because it could be chaotic and or blessed energy. And you really need to notice kind of where you're being pulled towards a blessing or towards that chaotic energy with that uh, sudden change of the mind and heart, okay? Sudden changes can lead to destruction and or to transformation. We really have to notice which way we're going because there are times where the energy pulls us in one direction and it might not always be the most beneficial direction for us. This is a time to release what's no longer benefiting or supporting us and to call your power back. Make sure as your advice or guidance that you are really um, using your uh, skills, your power, your talents of discernment with this eight of pentacles and holding on to those high standards, um, potentially those um, boundaries that maybe you've already created for yourself or hopefully you've already created for yourself and that you are holding on to that um, expertise or mastery of yourself and not allowing yourself to go towards more chaos and more intensity, right? With those uh, sudden changes, um, but allowing yourself to head towards that blessed energy, that energy of really being supported, pulling your power back, right? Um, that transformation, the new beginnings that are really wanting to come through, okay? Now, um, with the death card, right? That new beginning, that ending that leads to something new. Uh, Scorpio is also in that energy of the judgment card because the judgment card is the Pluto and Pluto is the ruling planet of Scorpio. And so with judgment, there is that surrender, right? That inner calling and that rebirth, okay? So um, sometimes destruction leads to that transformation, okay? So really just notice where you're going. Notice kind of what you're doing. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. So there is an opportunity for there to be an abundance of growth, um, beautiful blessings around you, but there's also an opportunity for uh, that to kind of, with that obstacle or the bad news or what to avoid, to uh, kind of lead you down a different road also with that sudden changes of mind and heart, okay? So pay attention to what what's happening, what's going on, really feel into stuff. And um, if you can... Maybe don't make any rash decisions um, during this time. Hold off if you can a week or so, um, you know, on the other side of this, because there is that potential with that Ten of Pentacles, that good news, uh, that there could be a windfall. But don't self-sabotage, okay? Okay. <laughs> I do.
do and found this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. Also, check out the second channel, That Wild Spark. Make sure that you're like watching the videos for starters, liking the video, sharing the videos. Let's get some, some eyes over there on that channel. Get that channel kind of growing, blossoming, um, and make sure you're subscribed to the second channel, That Wild Spark, and to this channel. You're more than welcome on both, and we would love to have you. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.